Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me and Mitchie boy here. Okay. We're up for a couple of nights just out in the back here, doing a bit of tar hunting. Mm. Hoping uh, that this weather's going to hold out. It's meant to be a bit of a snowstorm coming through, but the low winds are predicted, so we should be right in that aspect. But yeah. what are you hoping for, Mitch? What are you hoping for this trip, mate? Yeah, the plan's to try and find a big old bolt off the wall. Um, we're sort of walking up this morning, and Chris has already spotted a group of four or five up in the tops there, so it's a good sign there's animals in the area. but. Now the plan for the trip is to go out, yeah. <laughs> out over the back there, so um, we've got a bit of walk to do today, we're probably going to leave those to half an hour, um, nothing looks super promising anyway at this stage, but now it should be a bloody good trip, <laughs> some serious country to cover, you know, that'll be great, yeah, let's hope the weather holds out and we can get on to some more tar and hopefully don't, we don't regret leaving those five behind, eh, but yeah, uh, it should be sweet. Enjoy the video guys. Crack of a cliff. What are you? Yeah, you're a hundred percent any. Having laid eyes on the first animal of the trip, we left the camera on a recording whilst we had some lunch and carried on looking for some more animals. What we didn't know at the time was that whilst we were recording her, something pretty cool happened. I'll be the first to admit, footage is pretty average quality. If we knew what was going on, we would have made sure we were a lot closer. Uh, but as you can see here, the nanny started giving birth. It's pretty cool that these animals will put themselves in the middle of this unreachable country out of harm's way. Alright, well, we had a pretty uh, productive wee glassing session. Um, we've got one more basin behind us, we're just going to go check out. Mitch is pretty sure there's going to be a decent bull there, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'll just follow him, I guess. But I'm um, pretty sure I've spotted a deer about two and a half k down the valley, so... But yeah, so we're going to go check out this, this last basin and then start heading off the tops. It's going to start turning to shit probably tonight or tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, if we can't see any tar over there, we're just going to stalk that deer down there and hopefully get some venison and go for a tar tomorrow. This is like the most beautiful spot I've been. Like just the outlook across this entire catchment. All we need now is a big old bull tar. Like we've got some like seriously good country to look into. Like across there, there's some incredible country and all so that. Yeah, all we need is a good old bull, big old bull tar. Feed its way out. Who's wrong? No. Just happy. Huh. What's going on, Tandy? Oh, just trying not to die at the moment. Blowing a f***ing gale. Yeah. But yeah, not seeing much. Probably, probably due to the wind, but it's all good. Yeah, we were before, it wasn't that bad. And um, we're like, why is there no animals out? But, like... Yeah. just gone into the bottom of this river here, just in this gorgy bit. Um, no idea on his, his horn quality, um, but he looks to be like a big animal, so we're gonna try and close the gap, but it's about 600 meters down on the screen. But if he just goes out through the river, then we're gonna be right above him, eh? so it might work out really well for us.
And Mitch has just waved me over. Hey, this is the big ball. He looks ready. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's lining up. Go on, sir. Up getting onto them, but um, we don't think that was the bull that we initially saw. Um, I'm pretty sure we saw him a bit further down, and one was humming down, so we're not sure what happened there. But mm. it's pretty cool to see these young bulls here, they are just, just chilling. <laughs> they definitely know we're here, but they're pretty, pretty casual. And... But hell, that was a bloody fun sport! It was yeah, man. so much fun. You scream down there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that pace. Oh, yeah. decided not to shoot uh, the young bulls. If we'd seen a nanny, we definitely would have popped it, but um. Nah, couldn't find the bull we're after and couldn't find a nanny, so we're probably gonna yeah. go head back, set up camp. Yeah, outsmarted by the old boy, eh? Yeah, the wise old bugger, where do you get onto? Oh well, it'll be even bigger next time, eh? <laughs> Feeling good, mate? <laughs> good four hours sleep on a nice soft air mattress. Yeah, I'm feeling ready. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go get a So I've just seen what looks like a couple of bulls or a bull and a nanny up on this next face. So, big bloody body on it. Hopefully, he's a big old bull, eh? Yeah, mate. <laughs> he's about three quarters of the way out, though. He might be, <laughs> might be moving up now, but fuck if he looks good. Close the gap, eh? Big body. I don't know if this one's very big. Mm. Nah, I'm not going to get myself excited. I don't think he's, don't think he's quite there. It's a bit of an update. Um, the first ball looking at over there, no good. Um, Found a couple more, but also just a bit young. Really good shape on them. And an awesome mane, but um, that's right, we'll probably carry on. But Sandy's also just spotted another four up here. Um, nannies. Four nannies. So that might be us for a bit of meat uh, if we can't find a decent bull. Just brought up some treats to cook up a good feed and you never say no, eh? Hey? You've got to use the pan, eh? Hey? brought all the way in. <laughs> and there are still definitely a few tar up here, so better. Bit of play it smart and, and take one out for population at least, eh? Yeah. So, Chrissy here has found quite a nice bull. Um, but he sort of just fed into the scrub before we got a real good look at him mm -hmm. and that rain set to come in so we, we've waited him out. I uh, had some brekkie which was an absolute treat and uh, he hasn't come back out so we're probably just going to push back down the valley and, and look for those nannies um, see if we can get a shot away and get some meat but um, yeah a bit of a shame on the bull front. Yeah, yeah no he's pretty touch and go, he's very close, <laughs> very close to being a shooter but yeah he could probably do us a year or two. Yeah, we weren't fully sold, he had a real nice sweep. But not sure about the hook. They can do a bit of tips, yeah. yeah. So. 
Uh, we've got hopefully a few easy animals just up here and we'll get on the board before the bloody storm comes in. Mm. And have a nice relaxing afternoon <laughs> and have some meat. Beauty. Bit of a camp cook up tonight. You boy. You. Just climbing up after this time. Just found a wee side creek to hustle up. Yeah, we found a wee bench just over here, about 200 metres up here. And we'll probably have a clear shot of them, about 200, 250 metre shot probably. Boys are all ready. Got the gun ready. Man, she boys about to get set up, eh? Hopefully they're still there. Look at the camera. It's done. I've got one in life. Because I lost the other one. <laughs> Beautiful. Pretty, pretty happy to get that done before the bloody rain comes in, eh? Yeah, it's coming in, eh? Oh. Coming in. Good shot. Hey, Drop them, eh? Yeah. Words of wisdom there, Mitch? Oh. <laughs> oh, a few and far between for me, eh? That's <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, no, it's just awesome to be out here in this pretty epic place after such a wicked day yesterday and get to harvest some meat and help out with a bit of conservation and just be chasing these cool critters around the hills. They're bloody awesome. Um, I think we're lucky to have them here. And no, it's been a bloody wicked hunt so far and I can't wait for the rest of it. <laughs> Hey, um, congratulations on your first nanny, mate. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Absolute trophy spec, right? Great there. selection of animals, though, mate. <laughs> Bottom middle one? Yeah. Second from the right? Yeah. You sure it's there? Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. Shot, bro. Sacked it. Oh, there's more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally what? butchering a nanny. Just oh, yeah, there's another young one too. There's a group of six deer. Just blow we shot the start. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Yes, boy. boy. Meat for days, bro. Hey, yeah, boy. <laughs> Fucking oath. Ah. Oh, how good is that? <laughs> oh, yes. What the hell? That's meant to be raining. <laughs> Beauty. Right. Yes. Your turn. Any words of wisdom? Huh? <laughs> um, just when you've shot something, just. Just, just you know, keep it quiet. You know, keep an eye out because yeah, some deer might just pop out just below you. Yeah, just we were we were totally keeping it quiet. Eh? flying the drone around. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah and shit. Right, I actually literally flew the drone straight past it, didn't it? Yeah. To flip down the bloody gut. That's hectic. Oh, wicked man. Sick. Bloody wicked.
That's huge, bro. It's a big deer. Damn, I could turn the small one. That packs are gonna be so heavy. <laughs> hey, that's right, bro. We just have to climb up that. That's no stress. Hey, Mitch. Yeah. If you eat one, <laughs> I will carry all the meat out. <laughs> Yeah, chuffed, eh? <laughs> We're gonna go after a deer tomorrow, but no need now, so you're just gonna take these back legs. We're gonna weigh about 20 kilos each, <laughs> and the back stakes, um, and that'll probably be us, to be fair. We've already got some tar meat as well, so. Yeah, not gonna lie. tomorrow, but yeah, easy. This is possibly the biggest hind I've ever seen in my life. Like, she is huge. Pretty massive, eh? It's about the same size as a stag. Yeah, it's almost, is it a what? <laughs> it could be, it's for a day. Yeah, I know, she's bloody massive, a bit, but. A bit lost skill. What a day, man. What a day, epic. And as, as we said last time, the rain's setting in properly this time. Yeah, it is actually coming now. <laughs> we should probably hurry. Yep, all right. Bloody go. Hey, shot, bro. Good shot. shooting. Thanks, man. Love that. You too. <laughs> oh, no. Well, wet socks aside. Good morning, Mitch, mate. Yeah, good evening, mate. Shit. Hell of a day. Hell of a day. You know what? It's time to hop in the tent. Hey. I'm absolutely chuffed beyond the dry clothes though. That sounds shit out there. <laughs> Get warm, have a feed, and pretty much this is us for the rest of the day. This is us. This is us right here. Boys cooking up a bit of fillet steak from the um, deer that's any shot today. Uh, I've decided we're gonna go for a bit of a stir fry. So we've got some rice on and a bit of the sauce and we've had a trial and it's actually bloody beautiful, eh? What are you looking at? <laughs> bloody forgot the onion this time and we've got some broccoli but it's still gonna be bloody awesome. And rounds off bloody good day, eh, Sandy? <laughs> we're just in there, we're gonna be shooting a deer, mate. <laughs> in our country, so we're in bed. <laughs> bloody wicked. Mate. Not bad at all, eh? We are pretty well out in the hills, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god. It's yum. Bloody yum. It's really yum. It's hot. <laughs> it's so hot that he can't. Jim's hot and it's spicy. So yum hot. that he can't eat it. It'll be in my ass tomorrow. Meh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Guys, it's a climb out day. <laughs> it's the day we've been treading. We're gonna climb back out the way we came, so we're aiming to go right up the top there, into the clouds, up the scree, a bunch of fun stuff. And um, yeah, we'll probably catch you at the top for a coffee and a. I can see a car up there. Yeah, can you? That shape just saw me. Really? Yep. Where about? On the scree or? The patch of snow by itself. Yeah. Go down there, 50 yeah. meters, and you can see a little white spot. It's tough. Classic. This is bull. I need a second invitation to take this pack off. <laughs> oh, you're getting the camera out. Lift your head, buddy. I think you did, eh? And it's down again. I'm gonna move out. I want to move out into the shingle and you have a real good like, outline. I don't think you did. You're near as good as I saw yesterday, and we were pretty. Nah. They're not too sold either, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that was bitch. <laughs> not flash, eh? Always undoing that bad, but it's feeling like feeling like a hard out the office. Eh? We might get the drone out to give you guys a sense of scale on how big this is, because we sound soft, but. <laughs> Loose underfoot, eh? So. Oh man. Two steps to one, really.
get us a view. <laughs> oh, far out. That was horrible. That was horrible. Would not recommend. Tell you what, if you want to know what that feels like, go to your nearest mall, chuck a heavy pack on your back, and start walking up the escalator that's coming down for about five hours and you'll be there. <laughs> that was fucking shit. No way. Yes. yes. The last bit I gotta climb. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> what about spot flunch? Oh, it's down the spot, mate. Torsi's just there. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell though, so that's all right. It's out of the bloody rain, so that's all that matters. Give me that f***ing coffee. Have a good lunch, bro. Mm. <laughs> oh, good, eh? <laughs> Proper Indian. What's it, 20 past five? <laughs> Got the dinner, eh? Yeah, we're eating in a shit house. <laughs> yeah, good. good. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't smell, though. Doesn't smell. Smells like Indian. <laughs> right here, guys, that's going to about do it for the trip. <laughs> Pretty bloody naked, and we're just about home, so. Now, she's been a hell of a mission. We've just been reflecting on it over a bite to eat, and. This has been a hell of a trip, like, that first day, like, we just could have asked for anything more. We came up to some incredible country and just saw some epic views uh, and had some great weather for it and then obviously spotting those tar down on the riverbed and just yeah. hustling down it. Yeah, man, just scree running, eh? Scree fun. running down, just keeping our eyes on them. It was a pretty intense stalk, but um, obviously it wasn't a good bull, but just getting in close like that, like 10, 15 metres. Yeah, fucking awesome. And pretty good job on tar, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and then, on, yeah, the second day, well... It's pretty epic just to see like a really nice mature bull. Maybe one or two more years he'd be like a wall hanger. Mm. But it's pretty epic just to get a nice meat animal, like sack the tar and then we spot the deer from right where we we're cutting up the tar and sack one of them as well. It's pretty awesome to get a tar and a deer in the same Shot, bro. Such a spot, really. Nah, yeah, it's good to see so many animals about as well. So, nah, it's yeah. been a bloody good hunt, eh? Nah, it's been awesome. And then, yeah, obviously today we were just talking about how big of a mush it's been. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Eight hours in and we've still a couple more to go. But, but no, nah, it's been epic. It's been super rewarding this trip and <clears throat> now we got everything we wanted out of it, really. Obviously, no, no wall hanger, but they're always out there. We're still happy, mate. Yeah, bloody yeah. hell. So, yeah. Don't need traffic to be happy. Do right. Yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and see you in the next one, I guess.